Mom, hello, gorgeous. I'm almost certain it's a little girl. Looks like it. It's okay, little one. Oh, they are just so tiny at the moment. On her way to have a quick snack. And we can't pull out of the sighting now, obviously. We don't want to scare her away. Give her the chance to have some food. But Natasha in Ontario. And of course we wish all the be all the Canadians all the best for the Fort McMurray situation. You're wondering at what point a leopard cub will be old enough to catch food for itself. These two are going to be completely reliant on their mother for at least a year and most likely even longer. They start to catch little things, even at this young tender age, they will be practicing their hunting skills, trying to catch squirrels and mongoose and rodents. Oh, big bath time. But for now, mom is their sole provider. Uh, the guys from Simbambili tell me that Saleyeshe's cub, at four months old, killed a daker that mom had caught, which is extraordinary. That's only a month older than these two. Here we go. Look at that. Isn't that incredible to watch these tiny little creatures feed on a carcass? Just bear with me one second. I need to just speak to Mike. Mike for Jamie. Mike, Mike. Okay, well, I don't have a problem then. I just wanted to call him to tell him that I can't start the engine at the moment without risking scaring this little cub, so we're not going to. It's so incredible to watch a tiny little creature like this feed off a carcass. And as I said, almost completely weaned at this point. Truly extraordinary Mother's Day experience. I'm so incredibly happy to be enjoying a moment like this with all of you. Oh, back again towards mom. I'm sure it's a little girl. AJ, it's hard for you to tell exactly how tiny these cubs really are and I have to confess I watch them move on my monitor through the eyes of the camera. Every now and again when I lift my head, I get such a shock at just how tiny these little things really are. To give you a size reference, they are probably just a little bit larger than a ferret at the moment, if you're familiar with that kind of size. They look like like part-grown kittens. They're smaller than house cats, much smaller than house cats still. They really, truly are so minute. And I promise you when I have a moment to just show you, indicate how big they are with my hands, then I will do that, but I don't think any of us want to tear our eyes away from this incredible sighting. Oh, having a jolly good clean look little boy is actually still suckling. Well done, Karula, you clever girl. Here comes number two. I have never seen such brown eyes on a leopard cub.
<laughs> She's so restless. Doesn't want to settle down and suckle next to mum or indeed have a bath. Clambering and exploring what she's going to set out to do. And we are so, so lucky if we do have a boy and a girl here. Because the wonderful, magical thing about Safari Live is that you're going to get to watch these cubs grow up. Oh. <laughs> I hope you are all getting some extraordinary screenshots. I don't even need to narrate this sighting. It speaks for itself. I'm just going to let you enjoy it. Nope. Tolerated the bath only for the shortest of moments. Oh, look at that little lemon grimace. <laughs> look at your little tongue. <laughs> oh, catch the tail. Oh, no, distracted by a smell. You gorgeous little creatures. Oh, no, Mum, I want attention too. <laughs> Need to lie on top of my brother. I have to tell you something. If this cub is a female, we're going to see more independence from her than from her brother in the initial stages. Female cubs usually become independent far quicker than their male sibling. And they stay for a shorter time period than a male cub. So if we've got a male and a female here, we're going to get the most extraordinary insight into the sibling dynamic. Budge up, buddy. I want some breakfast too. Impala's a bit tough compared to mom's milk. Guys, we've had the most extraordinary sighting, but as I said, there are other people that would like to come and join us. I'm going to try and get hold of Mike one more time, just to see where he is. We'll stay for absolutely as long as possible, but then it will be time for us to go. Mike, Mike for Jamie. Mike, Mike. Standing by. Mike, what's your position? I'm on standby uh, just north of uh, Twin Dam. Copy that, perfect. Give me two minutes and I'll pull out. Copy, um, from Twin Dam. Where is that lock? Do you know where the quarry is um, between Shabam and Weaver's Nest? Negative. Okay, copy. Come along, Gowry Main, past Weaver's Nest, and the lock is in the north. You'll see the off-road tracks very clearly. Mom's lying up just to the north of the bumper with the Tumapim Hunts. Okay, 